Hey guys, Serve here, and uh, it hasn't been too too long that I finished one of my videos, and so I decided to make another one. Uh, this is a video I really wanted to make a long time ago, but I keep forgetting and I just keep getting too, way too busy to do it. So, you know, I decided to do it now. Uh, as you can see in my screen... I do have a few images of sylphs. That's right. Now, most of you probably already know these. These are the advanced sylphs available in Chinese servers. Now, uh, wait, that one has no name. That one has no name either. Anyways, uh, these sylphs are of currently available in the Chinese servers and will become available in every other server in, I believe, the next five to six months, I believe. Or maybe sooner. If it's sooner, we all know we're screwed. That's right. Why? Because we got the electric stuff right here. Now, uh, let's zoom in a bit. Wow. Now, all these stuff, look at them. Most of these look cool. They look awesome. They're, it's like the design is crazy. Uh, I'm going to point out one thing, though. Look at that. Held items. That's right. Equipment, just like every other class. Uh, battery rating is crazy high. Uh, I believe the highest current one is this one at 2 million. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. 241,000. That's right. 241,000 battle rating. Uh, whoever has that has a pretty high battle rating. Huh? Anyways, um, looking at this close up, I can see it has a few uh, new skills added. Some passes have been added, new passes. Um, these are advanced souls. Uh, we currently do not know all their names. So. From left to right and top to bottom, we got the Dark Sylph Hera uh, from Greek mythology. That's right. Uh, the queen of the Greek gods herself is going to be our newest Dark Sylph. That's her current name. Um, but it might change in the American, not the American, but in other servers, it might change. Uh, currently, Chinese servers known as Hera. Uh, oh yeah, one thing that I forgot to point out, I will be talking about each and every one of these selves. Uh, we do not have the fire self currently, but that's what we have. That's why I have another tab open. So I'll show you the fire self. My opinion is one of the two coolest looking selves, in my opinion, that are advanced selves. So back to Hera. Um, her design is pretty awesome. I like her wings. Just the design is crazy it's amazing 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 design I like it a lot uh, reminds me probably of a mage uh, from what I could see on her now looking at my screen my arms are to right and left uh, from her looking to me on her right hand we got a fan that's right she got a fan what you gonna use that for? Uh, I will remind you, Hades started. Hmm, I think Hades had a scythe or a staff. I am currently confused, guys. But uh, yeah, Hades had something to look like a staff. Uh, Aegis or Gaia or Eve, as she's known in very other servers, which is the pre-evolution of Hera. And what what is this Pokemon? <laughs> Anyways, it kind of reminds you of Pokemon now. Um, so, Aegis had this kind of a chain, which was like, uh, if you guys have seen some uh, Japanese manga or anime that involve ninjas, that's chain with a kunai attached to it, or a scythe. That's basically what Aegis has. Uh, that turned into a fan. Now, I'm quite interested in seeing how that works out. But... I still really like the design. Now, on the bottom, I see currently I'm seeing 
two passive skills that I have not seen. The one with the eye and I believe this one with the fire head. It looks like a head on fire. Uh, the eye, I believe it's going to be like some type of critical. Uh, if these two are, if you've seen these images currently available, uh, you know, post in the comments below. And I will read them and I will fix this in an annotation. But if you have you guys have seen these currently available, uh, please leave it in the comments. Uh, this one I believe would be mostly uh, like a crit, as you can see, it has a crosshairs on the eye, something that you usually see on snipers or any kind of gun with uh, any kind of hollow sight or attachment. That's right, guys. If you play Call of Duty, you know what I'm talking about. Any kind of uh, FPS game, you definitely know what I'm talking about. So this might be like a uh, crit. So uh, archers beware on for any mage or knight using this self and uh, move over Gaia or Hercules and Zeus. That's right, Zeus, because uh, this might affect archers. But you know, I still think archers will prefer uh, electric selves over Hera or whatever we're gonna get get uh, this self named. Now uh, on the name. Well, it's going to be changed, so I believe it's going to be changed on to Nyx. And now, most of you guys are probably thinking about the mascara. It's not the mascara. And Nyx is a goddess. She's a goddess of darkness. Uh, uh, basically works well with Hades. If you do know uh, Greek mythology, uh, Nyx was the only thing that Zeus feared apart from the Titans. Now, if you guys say, oh, Zeus did not fear the Titans. Zeus was born from a Titan. And his whole uh, siblings were eaten by a titan, his father, Cronus. Um, so, Zeus is pretty much afraid of titans. And Nyx is the only other being that Zeus fears. As Nyx is a really powerful being. She's in charge of taking souls to Hades. So, she's basically like a death. Which would make sense with her being the dark, uh, a dark self. Which is basically related to death. As we have seen uh, Hades on it. Uh, Aegis. Now Aegis is the name of Athena's, Athena's shield. Which kind of is confusing right there. But uh, could have any other meaning. Now I am not an expert in mythology. I am to just know what I know. So I will not go too deep into this. Now the next self we have. Is in the middle we got a light self. That's right. We got Apollo, Athena, and now this. Uh, what is this? First, I'm going to talk about her design. Not the best design. I can see where they tried to go with it. But the face, the ponytails, not the best design. She looks good. I'm not going to lie. It's a good looking self, design-wise. But not the best one. Uh, from what I can see, it looks like she has a bow. Or it might be something else. But it definitely looks like she has a bow on her left hand. Of course, again, I am talking about the way she looks. Her right would be right here. And this would be her left. Now, this looks more like a bow. Uh, as you can see on her wings, more like a uh, mostly angelic-like wings. But still, best wings right here. Uh, anyways, back to this. Yeah, more most like angelic-like wings. Uh... From what I can see on her feet, feather like, uh, pretty long hair. Uh, and if we're talking about Greek goddesses and gods, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, not seeing it. Uh, from the feather like uh, shoes, probably the messenger god. I forgot his name. Yes, I did forget his name. But, uh, you know, could be him, switch, you know, switch gender. Which I will point out, gods and goddesses. Well, God does not have a gender. Uh, but we're going to the with goddesses. Anyways, uh, could be that. I did point out, before this wasn't a form, I did point out that since she does have a bow, she could be goddess of the hunt. Which would be Apollo's twin sister, goddess of the moon, goddess of the hunt. Uh, I did forget her name. What's wrong with me today? <laughs> Uh, anyways, it could be her, as she, you know, we identified Moon, 
light, sun, light. Both both are two celestial beings that do give off light. Granted, the moon gives off reflected light from the sun, but still both can be referred as light. Uh, however, I did also point out to the person who did suggest this, I told him from what she looks like, she does not look more from a goddess, a uh, hunting goddess, as I do not see any form of nature. I mostly do see kind of light. I also did point out that it could be Cupid. Cupid could be referred as male and female. It's a variant. Although Creek Massage does know him as male, uh, he could also be referred to as female in a few in a few mythos. He could be referred as uh, you know a female, and it would make sense with the bow. Which is now pretty much looking really weird now that I see it, but uh, it would make sense as Cupid. But then again, uh, twin cells don't really see it. She does have a uh, reddish, reddish and kind of pinkish clothing, which is also why I am saying it could be Cupid. Uh, wings also angelic like, same thing, same way as he was once described with angel like wings. Uh, if you do look at Quick Massage, he was not described as the angel winged baby with a pamper. Nope, and he was not described as, as that. He was rather described as a man, young uh, man with wings, with white wings, uh, carrying a bow. Is what he was mostly described as. Uh, he was also described differently in depending on what kind of story you're reading. Uh, what else? What else can we say about her? Uh, again, this passive skill appears again here, so which I'm thinking it will be a passive skill for every single other self. Uh, this one I believe it's uh, well, this one would be a self, uh, a darkness self uh, passive. Uh, anyways, sign looks okay. Uh, name, it would be difficult to figure out right now. Uh, well then. Off we go to the next self to the right, which is actually called Zeus. Yes, the king of gods of Greek gods himself, and the god of thunder. Pretty appropriate, don't you think? I mean, most of us saw it coming. Uh, we went from Gaia to Hercules to uh, Zeus. Uh, now, Gaia did change gender and went to Hercules on the one heroic. And he is the son of Zeus, which would kind of make sense to why he is the electric self. Uh, which, of course, if you continue seeing further in, you will also notice that this w it was leading to mostly to Zeus being the new electric self. Uh, the sign looks um yeah. Looks like he's floating, uh, probably using uh, lightning or his powers to float. Uh, he does have a sword on his left hand. Uh, Hercules did have a huge sword. This sword is shorter. Uh, on his back, he does not have wings. Well, nothing that looks like appropriate wings. He does have uh, what looks like a cape. Whoa, like a cape-like. Electrical... Uh, Electricity. Uh, on his shoulders, he does have a few um, semicircle item, which is cut in half. We have not seen this currently in the game. Uh, spikes are given of light again, probably electric. Uh, it probably also has stability lightning rod. Why not? Uh, if you guys don't get that, look up Pokemon abilities and you will get it. Uh, anyways, uh, from what I can see. Uh, the sign is not so much. Uh, probably will not change his name. I've been thinking about about it a bit. Uh, name probably will not change. Mostly because it suits uh, the soap's own uh, attributes, own elemental attacks. It suits it way too much that it's completely appropriate. Now, uh, let's go to the least favorite soap of the world. Unfortunately, it is true. It is the least favorite self. Again, we also gonna get a multi self passive again. 
uh, this is the windsof, uh unnamed again so uh, surf went from uh, pan to medusa to this uh, this was difficult uh, most people started saying that they do not know its name they do not know its mythology uh, war tune is based among mostly Greek mythology, that's where it gets most of its, uh, how to say it, resources from, or ideas from. It's mostly from Greek mythos. Uh, however, this does not mean that there are many other mythologies out there. Uh, one of the myths would be of the fairy kings and fairy queens. And most of you will think this is a fairy tale reference, which is actually not. Uh, but for now, I'm going to call her Titania. Uh, Titania was known as the Queen of Fairies. And the way I say this is, look at her. Uh, you get, I'm not going to say you get a royal kind of feeling, but it looks kind of like royalty. She does have uh, what looks like uh, gems or a tiara form on her head. Uh, her wings look what uh, fairy wings have been uh, drawn as, which... It's mostly like uh, dragonfly wings, but more elegant like. Uh, she does have a few, I think of those ponytails right around here. These would be ponytails. Uh, she is female, and the windsoles have been mostly uh, related to nature. And yeah, I understand guys. What does Medusa have to do with nature? Uh, she's snake, uh, snake lady, or you could refer to her also as Lamia, or as a Gorgon. Uh, now, Pan and Medusa both are from Greek mythology. Pan was the god of nature, was one of the many gods of nature, and you could probably put him in with uh, Dryads and a few others, but. Uh, I'm thinking she could be called Titania. Uh, I do not know the Chinese name, but probably in our service she will, might be called Titania mostly because of the way she looks. Uh, fairies have been uh, related to nature since well since the beginning. Now, uh, from what I can see in its abilities, it does have a few levels, current level six abilities, uh, regular abilities as well. From uh, starters of Pan. Uh, what else? Uh, her staff in hand. Now, this is a physical attacking self. And it is probably the best self suited to face any kind of electrical self. Like Zeus, Hercules, or Gaia. Uh, apart from that, she does not pretty much look too intimidating. Uh, a bit more too elegant. She does have a staff. Now, I will mention Titania in the Titania stories. Uh, she is depicted as having a whoop, uh, not whoop, whoops. Anyways, it's uh, she had she has been depicted with a whip, which is I believe called the rose whip, and it is her main weapon. While her king Oberion, which is we're going with Sword Art Online now, uh, Alpha him. Yep. Anyways, uh, Oberion is seen. Oberion is seen with a sword, and Titania is seen with a whip. However, she's also depicted with a staff, or whatever you want to call it, staff, scepter, uh, wand. It's not honestly. It's not look like a wand. Uh, one thing that I could point out is that it could be a whip, mostly because she's not holding it. Now, uh, this right here, that's her hand, that's her left hand. This right here, actually this is her right hand. This is her left hand. Nothing is holding this. Just gonna point that out away. It really does look like nothing is holding it. Now, it looks like this is her left hand. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. And her left hand be right here going down like this. Or not. Well, we'll see. But uh, the staff is right there. It's green. It could be related to nature. So uh, we're going to call her Titania for now. Um, again, we do have two self 
uh, abilities that we've seen before. We've seen this one four times, we've seen this one three times, and this can be repeated on the next stuff. Again, uh, this will be our win stuff, and holding items the same as usual. Now then, on to the next stuff to the right. Our water stuff. <coughs> Uh, Gaia, Triton, and now what is called in uh, the Chinese servers Poseidon. Now Poseidon, God of the Seas, pretty easy to tell, uh, or it could be called Neptune, by Neptune's beard if we've heard that one before. Uh, you guys might understand one. Or Hell, why not? Let's call him Aquaman. Really? Let's, let's you know, let's just call, go with Aquaman. Why not throw a DC in there? Um, well, what I do see about this is, looking at it, is if you guys seen Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the first movie, which would be the Lightning Thief, when you first see the movie, you see Poseidon rising from the ocean. Uh, that's what it looks like as you can see we do not see any kind of feet we do see like around the uh, water and him rising above it uh, same color uh, looks like a knight that's right mostly like a knight uh, we do we've seen the knight sprite uh, you know fully armored uh, face uncovered no facial hair uh, that's what we see right now with Poseidon Fully covered, armored, and except for a few parts. I mean, look at them. Look at that. Look at those eyes. You wish. You wish. Yeah. I'm trying to go off track. Uh, anyways, yeah. So we do see him. He looks uh, mostly like a knight. That's where his part probably uh, came from. Uh, Poseidon is the god of the seas. Uh, you might not see that much change, much like the Susof, as it is a fitting name. Uh, possible other possible names would be hard to use. I did joke around we could use Aquaman, but that's you guys can name it yourselves. Um, there have been two titans before in uh, Greek mythology who pretty much took care of the oceans before Poseidon came into power, much like Cronus's um, Cronus ruled over the titans and Zeus ruled over the gods. Poseidon is the brother of Zeus, uh, however, he does only rule over the seas, uh, most in the mythology, he does rule over sea and land, while Zeus rules over the skies and Hades over the underground, which is pretty weird, as underground could be included as overground. Uh, anyways, back to the self, uh, I do like his design. Um, from what we could see, he did lose a few items, and, uh, hold up, Avatar reference right now, I see Katara's necklace, right there. Yeah, it does not look like it, but it's almost, uh, it's close to it. So, we do have a few new skills I do see right here, I was not able to notify that many, apart from this one on our windsof. And over here we do have like a fang-like tornado, electric tornado item on our electric stove. But uh, I did talk about this before. Anyways, uh, on here we do see a shield. Like what looks like an aquatic shield. Uh, now we do have ice shield on uh, Seld, not Seld, uh, Seld is myself. Uh, on Iris and... On Triton, we do have the Ice Shield, which debuffs any fellow player, or you and your troops. Uh, we do have the Dolphic. Dolphic will always be there. It will not be changed. Uh, Rain Dance is there. Uh, Tsunami is there. And, of course, the still not so favorite, um, Water Arrows, is what I call them, is there. Uh, these two we have not seen before. And we do also have the regular skill, which has now appeared four times in our subs that we are currently seeing. Uh, anyways, 
Now I do like its design. It looks reminds me mostly of a knight. It is gonna be a special attacker. Oh, look at me! Whoa, that's a, that's a big mistake. I'm really sorry. I've just been watching too much Pokemon. Um, it is a magic attacking self, and uh, yeah, it really really does remind me of a knight. The way it's just standing, uh, the way it holds the sword. Uh, we do not see no wings. I did point that out. No wings. Uh, Trident did lose its. Uh, Iris did lose its wings once it evolves into Trident, and it became a fish. Uh, its normal sprite, when uh, not in battle form, is actually of a flying conch, which is conch shell, which is weird. As it looks like something it. Out of uh, fantasy, it's just like this game. Anyways, uh, oh my god, I just ate too much sugar. I think, damn. Uh, anyways, I am currently going uh, really out of track. I am ranting. I am doing so much stuff at the moment. That is really weird. This is gonna be a weird video, guys. I am really sorry, and I do apologize for it. Anyways, uh, going to the next tab as. This did not really include the fire stove. And here we have the fire stove again. Wow. That's all I gotta say, guys. Wow. This went from being a wingless stove to just looking like that. That's right. Uh, current name unknown. Possible name the God of War. Ares, not from the God of War series, or not to be mistaken from the God of War series, with Kratos, uh, which might possibly be the name for it itself. Now, uh, most people are referring to this self as Ares, mostly because of his control of fire and his own look, which looks definitely looks uh, Spartan like and also like he's ready for war. Now, uh, we're gonna continue on with uh, Spartan. Spartans have, uh, well, we could say they have revered the god Ares, who is the god of war, for a long time. Uh, before Sparta fell, I believe it did fall. I'm not too clear on that history. Uh, he could be referred to as Ares. He does look like it. He definitely is dressed in gold and is covered in fire. Ares is always given that uh, idea that he is covered in fire, as fire was once revered as something for a war. Well, not revered, but it's a reference to war, as wars do have fires in them, as we have seen before. And if you guys have seen any kind of world war, or any kind of war video, or uh, movie, you will see that fire if always follows war. So... This that's what I believe. Uh, this does not have the repetitive skills that have been shown in other souls. It has its own passive skills. Um, this is not the most powerful current self that we've seen. Uh, this is of course without equipment, and uh, from what I can see, on its design, it does definitely look like a Spartan. It's fire, fiery wings. Two swords, two long swords, uh, could not be referred to as two-handed swords, but, you know, single-handed long swords, which is kind of weird. Uh, from what I can see, gold plated armor could be called bronze. Of course, this reminds me of a Spartan. Uh, red tunic as well, could also refer to, uh, could be a reference to Spartans as well. And uh, looking down at his feet, you do see like uh, animal like feet, which could be refer a uh, reference to his previous evolution on Cerberus. And also his previous evolution, which was riding a T Rex Amazon Queen. Uh, from what I could see, he is completely enveloped in fire, uh, his wings is mostly fire. Uh, the wings could be a variant of the current amber wings that are in the current event, only available for a limited time. Uh, hmm. 
He is floating place on like Poseidon. Uh, recent and wise Aries, I did give it that. It is, he is warlike. And Aries has always been depicted as a being who can control fire and who is covered in fire. Uh, this, he's also depicted as a being that's with the color red. Whether it's red hair or red skin, he has always been depicted like that. Uh, of course, the red skin is a reference to the animated movie by Disney, Hercules, where he has, where we were shown, uh, Aries with uh, red skin. Uh, but... His overall design is pretty good. Uh, he's my second self that I like. My first being Hera. Uh, mostly because her design pretty much fits her. Uh, Ares' design, he's big. He looks amazing. Looks like he's ready for war. Uh, seeing the self in person w w in the games would cost something like that. But, you know... You can actually power up that self. Uh, from what I can see, also his swords could probably be form of his attack, much like Hercules' own swords. Uh, that's his only current weapon. Uh, he did. We might not see this as another evolution. From his own uh so skills, we have his own passives, fire passives. Uh, I believe we have seen a few of these. Uh, some skills remain the same, a few don't, a few are uh, 70s or above, but that's about it for uh, the souls. Again, uh, now I'm going to move on to a question for you guys who are actually seeing this. Uh, you could choose to answer this or not. I know I have been ranting and I believe I did lost a few of you in uh, by halfway through this video, but uh from the souls that I've shown here, which are your favorites, or would you prefer them unchanged to our current refinable souls? Uh, personal favorites, and the ones that I'm going to probably be using the most, would probably be uh, Darkness of Hera, which is uh, my favorite. Second favorite would be Fire Self, we're going to call her Ares. Second favorite is the wind self, mostly because she can pretty much beat up any kind of electric self. Great resistance to it. Uh, any electric self is has low resistance to wind, and uh, unless unless the player actually has about uh, six wind resistance crystals, they will not be able to take too much damage from any kind of wind self. So, uh, third favorite would be Titania, the, what I've proclaimed as Titania. So, those three are my personal favorites and so that I will, that I will use and be planning to use once they do come out. Uh, yeah, I need to work on a pan and Medusa first. Uh, anyways, from these six refinable advanced souls, uh, which one is your favorite? Uh, leave it in the comments. Again, names are from right to left. Hera, what we're going to call Cupid. Zeus, what we're going to call Titania. Poseidon, and what we're going to call Ares. Now, one small detail. All these, in order to get these souls, they must be red souls. That means, in other words, orange and above souls. So, anyways, guys. Uh, like and sus like, comment, and subscribe. And if you did watch, finish watching this whole video, leave in the comments which self is your favorite, or which self are you planning to use, or any kind of questions about these souls that you have. I uh, will try and figure out what kind of skills these are, as these are apparently uh, useful by any and every other self. But again, I am do not know how to read Chinese. But uh, the information is out there and I will try and locate it for you guys and might probably make a different video with these false following skills. And this guys, uh, thanks for watching and well, all I could do is wish you guys to have a good day and thank you for listening to my rant. See you. See ya.